Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, we're gonna be talking about 10 resources that'll make your life as an Apex developer a lot easier. So a great place to start is the apex.oracle site because a lot of the things I'm gonna be sharing can be found from these different links. And this is also a great place to get your documentation and so forth. But on to number one, and that is Ask Max. So Ask Max, this guy here, Max, he has been tremendously helpful in helping me plan through this content. And anytime I have a technical issue, I reach out to him. So if you're looking for professional Apex support, you know, if you're building something and you're stuck on something, this is where I would point you. And in fact, he's given up a lot of his time to answer over a thousand questions on apex.world, which is a community that's actually our second resource. Apex.world is actually a community where you can ask questions, see what's new with Apex and meet other Apex developers. There's also stuff for jobs. And if you are if you need a job posting or you're looking for jobs, you can do that here. And there's also a Twitter feed from Oracle Apex. The next resource I have for you guys is the Oracle Apex Talk Show. And I'll leave a link to each one of these resources in the description below. But you can find that at apex.press forward slash talk show. This is a podcast where you can hear some of the new stuff with Apex, as well as stories from different developers, and also meet some of the Apex development team on this podcast. In fact, you can see on here, Max was just one of the, the recent speakers on here. So go check that out if you want to get up to date with Apex. Now there's actually another podcast I wanted to share with you, and that is the Apex Now podcast. So the Apex Now podcast is another podcast where they talk about the latest news with Apex. And if you're looking for one to start with, why don't you try this one right here featuring the one and only Caleb Curry. Hmm. So far, I've talked about four different ways you can get help with Apex. The first was professionally with Ask Max. Then we talked about the Apex World community. And then we talked about two different podcasts. But you might be someone who prefers documentation. So yes, you can go from here and find the documentation in the learn section. But another great thing is you can actually use a short link to always get the documentation you're looking for. So if you go to apex.oracle.com slash doc and then put the version 19.1, no dots, and then press enter, that'll take you to this exact version of the documentation. And that is the next resource for you guys. Next, if you need a little bit more substance on designing your Apex applications, you would check out the documentation for the universal theme. And there is also a short link for that. So you would go to apex.oracle.com forward slash universal theme. And here you can get all of the information about designing beautiful applications with Oracle Apex. Now you might be wondering how I know the short links. Well, if you go back to the apex.oracle webpage, there's actually under community, you can click community resources and then Oracle Apex short links where you can get the entire list. I just thought I'd share two of the ones you might use quite often. So now you understand how to get information through documentation, but maybe you're more of a face-to-face -face kind of person. And for that, I will refer you to some of the conferences or meetups with Apex. So the one I would recommend is if you go to community events, you can choose which one you want, local or conferences. And I actually went to the ODTUG K-Scope. Each year it's in a different location, and this is a great way to get hands-on experience with Apex and get a little bit more substance to learning because you're gonna be there with a lot of other Apex developers and you'll probably get to meet the developers of the Apex tool itself. So try out Kscope if you want to have that in-person face-to-face learning. Right now it's linked to Kscope 19, but I think for next year you would just go to kscope20.otug.com and you can see it's in Boston. So this is a very fun conference and I would highly recommend it. Next thing I wanted to share with you guys is the Apex curriculum. So if you're on the apex.oracle site, what you can do is go to learn, and then I think under education. And then scrolling through this, you can see all different types of learning. One that I would recommend here for you though, is the application development curriculum. So select download curriculum materials, go through this if you want a more systematic approach to learning Apex. Now, when you're developing Apex applications that you want to be production ready, you probably want to put that on a production ready instance, a database. So you could get a server with all of that in-house or what I would actually recommend giving a try is the autonomous database. So you can actually get a free cloud trial of this database with Apex on it. So if you want to get started with Apex in the cloud without using apex.oracle.com, this is the way I would recommend you start. Again, I'll leave a link for this for you guys in the description. But all you gotta do is sign up for a free cloud trial, 
sign up and you're good to go. We talked about how to use Apex on Autonomous in my Apex series, so go check that out if you need. But what I shared with you now should get you started in the right direction. And the last resource for you guys is actually on my channel, which is a JavaScript series. So JavaScript is used for front-end development, and you might run into the need to use JavaScript with Apex, or just having that extra software development experience might help you with your Apex development. So if you ever run into a situation where you need to understand a little bit more JavaScript, I would recommend you check out my videos. And I mean, they're kind of the best, so obviously I'm gonna recommend mine, right? I'm just playing, but you have the option to go through here and watch each video, or what you can do is actually watch the JavaScript programming nine hours where I combine all the videos okay, into right one. Here. Oh, see, I'm blabbering right there. So if you have uh, nine hours to spare and um, have nothing, literally nothing better to do with your life, this video I would recommend. So this video will just take you through really simple programming concepts from the very beginning all the way up to object-oriented programming inside of JavaScript and understanding inheritance and everything like that. So those are my 10 resources. And yeah, definitely be sure to subscribe as this video is telling you. <laughs> now what I wanna do is I actually want to give Max the opportunity to jump in and share a little bit about his story with Apex and also his service. Again, he has been super helpful with the creation of my Apex videos, and it's the least I can do just to give him a moment to share about what he does. Hello, Caleb. Let me start by telling you why I love Apex so much. I really like Apex because even if it's a low-code tool, you're not limited to building only basic applications. As you start using it, you'll be able to build good-looking and responsive applications right from the start. And as you progress in that, you learn more about Apex, about SQL, PLSQL, JavaScript, and CSS, you'll be able to go even further and build more advanced features and so more advanced applications. If you need to know more, there is the apex.well communities website. It's the one place to go if you want to learn about all the news and everything related to Apex. There are also some Slack channels available for help. And that's basically how I had the idea for my ASMAC service. Because throughout the years, I've been helping a lot of people by answering a lot of questions on these Slack channels. And I decided to try and make a living out of it, so I started ASMAX. If you're wondering what it's all about, it's basically a place where you can get professional Apex help and support. Whether you're a beginner or someone with a better Apex knowledge, you can ask me anything. I can do trainings, I can do coaching, I can even build plugins for you if you'd like me to, whatever you need. It's also easy to book me if you're on a small budget because I came up with this quarters approach where one quarter is $25, so a quarter of 100, and it's also a quarter of an hour, so 15 minutes. And the best thing about it is that by simply registering, you'll get one free quarter to try it out. So whether it's for a simple question or for something more complex or that you want to learn how to build applications such as mine, I can help you out. You can ask me anything. So that is all for my 10 resources on Apex development. Let me know what resources you think should be added to this list. Leave a comment in the comment section below and maybe we'll come out with an updated list in the future. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.